The small town of Casson finding out last night that the city is currently $17 million in debt. ABC 6 News reporter Ben Henry followed up on this story today, and that $17 million figure was released last night. A lot of people were surprised by it, but this is only kind of the beginning of the story. Yeah, Betsy, you're right. Mayor Steve Johnson shined the light on the debt last night, and when I spoke with him today, he stressed he did this to try and fix the city's, quote, unneeded spending. Last night's city council meeting was packed with wall-to-wall -wall people, and all of them had a first-hand look at the mayor's numbers. Now, Mayor Johnson pointed out that nearly $2 million had been spent for engineering from 2008 to 2014, and he says an upcoming sewer project will cost the city as much as $8 million. Now, along with those numbers, the mayor also brought up how much the city's public works director makes. In Cass, and that, job's, that job pays nearly $90,000. By comparison, the public works director in Stewartville has made as much as $81,000 a year. And in Rochester, the public works director makes $165,000 a year. However, according to other city officials, the pay for these jobs is set by a state law. So the only way a city could change those salaries is by eliminating the position altogether. Now, Betsy, I also talked with other city officials and also City Councilman uh, Coy Borgstrom, who said he does agree with the mayor and the, that they do need to work on the city's debt. And as for the other city officials, they, uh, they were reluctant to go on record or on camera. But we will continue to follow the story as well as tomorrow. And that's the thing. A lot of times people have a lot to say, but when it comes to talking with the media, they don't want to say too much, and we understand that. Some people are afraid of losing their jobs. Yeah, it's tough, but we're going to do our best to make sure uh, we get both sides covered. That's right, and we're not done with this story. Thank you, Ben. Thank you.